Alright guys, Dominic here for KitGuru and I am pleased to say we have updated our GPU benchmarking system in partnership with PC Specialist. It was definitely about time to upgrade, we were actually using our previous 8700K based test system for over two years, but with Intel's recent release of the Comet Lake S desktop processors, we thought it was high time for an upgrade. But before we get into all the details, go over all the different parts, why we chose the parts we did, I really do want to hear from you guys, and that is about what games do you want us to benchmark. If there's a particular game you want us to use in our upcoming GPU reviews, please do let us know. If you want to tell me why you think that would be a good game to benchmark as well, just leave a comment down below. I really love to hear from you guys about what sort of games you want us to test. But back to the system in hand, which is what this video is all about. Firstly, I do have to say a big thanks to PC Specialists. They really came through for us on this one. They put together this whole system by themselves. I gave them an outline of the key spec that we need for our GPU reviews, and they did the rest. And personally, I have to say, I think they did a really good job with this system. So once more, a big thank you to PC Specialist. But now to kind of go through the hardware, why we chose what we did, we're going to start off with the CPU. And like I said, our previous system was using the 8700K 6 core 12 thread processor. So it's definitely getting on a bit now. So high time for an upgrade. So for the CPU in this system, we opted for the Intel i9-10900K, which Leo has recently reviewed. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, well, why not go for a Ryzen processor, as they're obviously very popular at the moment, AMD is doing really well on the CPU side of things. And honestly, I'm not saying Ryzen's are bad whatsoever, but this system is very specific in what we need it to do, in that it's all about testing GPUs. That is the only thing this system is ever going to do. So with that in mind, we really want the best gaming performance possible with the least amount of CPU limitation. So at the moment, that means going for the 10 core i9. We were also able to overclock the CPU to 5.1 gigahertz on all cores using 1.35 V-Core without a problem. So that is definitely gonna help when it comes to testing our GPUs. Speaking of overclocking, that leads us on to our motherboard of choice. And in this case, we have gone with the Asus ROG Maximus 12 Hero. So this is another board that Leo also recently reviewed. He actually scored it nine out of 10 and gave it Kit Guru's must have award. So it's hard to say much better than that really. Honestly, in the last few days I've been using this board, it has proved you know, really good. It was very easy to overclock to get that 5.1 gigahertz figure for our CPU. It's also got an excellent VRM solution. And honestly, a little simple thing, just like having the reinforced PCIe slot will hopefully mean it will live up with plenty of GPU changes. So definitely a very solid motherboard of choice. We've also updated our memory configuration, going from 16 gigabytes on our previous test system up to 32 gigabytes with this new system. And that is in the form of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 running at 3600 megahertz CL18. The one thing I would say about the memory is that honestly, you probably don't really need more than 16 gigabytes. That it would be more than enough in most cases for a solid gaming rig. However, kind of like the point I'm trying to emphasize here is this system is all about removing limitations so we can focus on the GPU as closely as possible. So by going with 32 gigabytes of RAM, that really does just mean we're not going to be memory limited in our benchmarks. You will also have spotted our all-in-one liquid cooler, which is the Corsair H115i Platinum RGB. So this is a 280mm all-in-one, and honestly, even with our CPU overclocked to 5.1 GHz on all cores, it does seem to do a more than adequate job. Bear in mind that for our testing, we're going to be stressing the GPU and not the CPU so much. Across a 30-minute stress test in 3D Mark Time Spy, we didn't actually see CPU temperature exceed 60 degrees, and most of the time it was hovering between 50 to 55 on the package. So again, that 280 millimeter all-in-one cooler is definitely gonna be up to the task here. And it also has the added benefit of adding just a little bit of RGB bling to the system. Other things to note, of course, include our system storage. So we have two drives. 
The first is our OS drive. So this is a 500 gigabyte Samsung 970 Evo Plus, which is gonna obviously house Windows and then apps like Steam, Origin, Uplay, and so on. And then we also have a secondary drive, which is a two terabyte Samsung 860 QVO, which is purely to house all of our games. The added benefit of doing this with two separate drives means we can always boot into the system if we have to detach that uh, 2.5 inch SSD for any troubleshooting reasons. Whereas if everything was on a single drive and maybe the drive corrupted or whatnot, we'd have to you know, reset the whole system instead of still being able to boot into Windows via that primary OS drive. So at this point, we've covered pretty much all of the key hardware, why we made some of the decisions we did, but there is one more major thing to talk about, and that is actually the choice of case. This actually marks a little bit of a shift in thinking for us, as our previous test bench was actually an open air test bench using a Streacom chassis. However, I have been kind of wanting to get away from that method of testing for one simple reason. Testing inside a case is just gonna give more real world data. And by that I mean, you know, the vast majority of people who go out and buy a new graphics card are going to be installing it inside a case. So in my mind, it simply makes a lot more sense to do our GPU testing inside a case as the data we can present from that testing is gonna be more relevant to more people. Of course, that does mean we want a high airflow case, which is why we went with Fractal's excellent Meshify S2, and that has 240 millimeter fans at the front intake in cool air, while it's also got the two fans on the all-in-one exhausting out the roof, and another 140 at the back exhausting out the rear. The final point to mention is our choice of power supply, and here we went for the 80 plus platinum rated Corsair HX1200. Now, this is definitely way, way overkill for our needs. In fact, if we were just going for a single GPU configuration, we'd probably be able to get away with a 650 or 750 watt power supply. However, again, going with a 1200 watt unit simply means we're not gonna be running into any power limited scenarios, especially with rumors about Nvidia's next gen GPUs, you know, potentially having a 350 watt TDP and as unlikely as it is, the potential for us to maybe be doing some SLI or Crossfire testing, this just means we're not gonna be running into any issues down the line. And it's also a highly efficient, well-reviewed system. So really no concerns there. So guys, that is really it for this video. I just wanted to let you know about the new GPU test rig for all of our upcoming videos. We've got lots of content planned over the next couple of months. Obviously, the rumors are suggesting that next-gen GPUs are gonna launch around September, October time. But until then, you know, we're planning some GPU revisits. We're gonna plan some GPU game benchmarks. And we're also gonna plan in some head-to-head -head GPU battles. So stay tuned for that content. I'd also again like to say a massive thanks to PC Specialist who put this together for us. We've reviewed a number of their systems over the years, most recently looking at the Vortex S3, which uses the latest i7 from Intel's 10th gen series. And again, we found that to be a very impressive system. Speaking personally, I really like what they've done with this GPU bench rig. Honestly, there's no way I'll be able to build it as clean or as tidy as this. So once more, a special thanks to PC Specialist for partnering with this system. But that is going to do it for this video guys toss us a thumbs up if you liked it drop us a comment down below let us know what you think and again please do let me know what games you want us to test going forward you can also check out our discord and our merch store which are linked in the description below and if you guys would consider backing us on patreon that would also be awesome where you can get access to a number of exclusive giveaways and also see some of our content early until then though guys i'm dominic Fulkit guru and i'll see you in the next video